Today we're going to be looking at the Canon T5i, arguably one of the most versatile crop sensor DSLRs on the market. The T5i is also known as the 700D in markets outside the United States. So let's take a closer look at this camera. On the front of the camera body, you have the flash release button, the lens lock release button, a depth of field preview button, and on the center of the front face, you have the mirror and the 18 megapixel APS-C sensor that has been carried over from the Canon T4i. And these are both surrounded by the metal EF lens mount. To the left of that are the self timer assist lamp and the remote control sensor. And slightly above this is the shutter button. On the right hand side of the body is the SD card slot. On the top right hand corner, you have the main adjustment dial and the ISO button. Slightly below these are the on off switch with dedicated positions for still picture and video mode and the main mode dial. To the left of that is the hot shoe and the stereo microphones. And right next to the mic, facing forward, is the pop-up flash. You also have the two metal strap mounts on the top face. The rear face has the focus zoom buttons on the top right hand corner with the button for movie recording and live view to the left. Below that is a slew of buttons you will find in almost every DSLR. And all all the way at the bottom, you have the playback and delete buttons next to the access lamp. On the top of the rear face is the optical viewfinder with its tiny dioptric adjustment knob, and to the left of this are the menu and info buttons. And last but not least, you have the camera's most versatile feature, the 3-inch articulating touchscreen which tilts and flips. Great for recording yourself and taking shots from almost every possible angle. The left edge of the body has the AV out port and an HDMI output. To the left of this is the wired remote port and the extremely handy mic jack. This is very essential if you plan to use an external mic for better quality audio. On the bottom is the quarter 20 tripod mount and the battery compartment which fits Canon's LPE8 battery pack. Unlike the Canon T4i and T3i, the Canon T5i comes equipped with an 18 to 55 mm or 18 to 135 mm STM or stepper motor kit lens. The stepper motor lens is extremely quiet when focusing and was designed to work with the camera's servo AF for video. The focus and zoom rings are also noticeably smoother on this lens, while the focus selector and image stabilizer buttons are still located in the same place. The camera will also allow you to mount any Canon EF lenses if you decide to expand your lens collection. As with almost every Every modern Canon DSLR, the grip is near perfect. The camera handles well and has rubberized surfaces to enhance your grip. The build quality is practically identical to the Canon T3i and T4i, solid and well put together. The quality of the screen is also excellent. The screen is bright and sharp enough to use outdoors, and the menu items are all intuitively laid out. The menu system has been carried over from the T4i, but that's not exactly a bad thing. The touchscreen makes navigating the menu menu, changing settings, and setting focus points a breeze. Definitely a worthwhile feature. In terms of image output options, you can shoot pictures in different JPEG sizes, RAW, or output both JPEG and RAW files simultaneously. The autofocus when taking pictures is surprisingly fast even in the live view mode, and gets even faster when using the optical viewfinder. The STM lenses also seem to make focusing a much quieter process. The still picture picture quality, as expected from a Canon DSLR, is outstanding. The color reproduction is accurate, the colors are well saturated, and the details are sharp even when taking pictures with the kit lens, as you can see in these test shots. The low light performance is also pretty decent, as you can see from this picture. In terms of video, you can shoot in 1080p Full HD at 30 frames per second, and the more cinematic 24 frames per second. You can also shoot 720p footage at 60 frames per second per second. And there's also an option to shoot in standard definition. The sound levels on the camera can be adjusted manually, but the quality of the built-in microphone is pretty poor. However, thanks to the mic jack, you can always use an external mic like the Rode VideoMic Pro to get 
better quality audio. As with previous Canon DSLRs, the video quality is great for shooting stationary subjects. It's great for things such as, say, interviews. The camera isn't great for run and gun shooting, and you'll be better off using the manual focus ring as the continuous autofocus isn't anywhere near as good as a camcorder. The T5i will, however, produce amazing results for folks who are comfortable with manual focus and working the manual exposure settings. The battery life is pretty good, but we do recommend investing in spare batteries if you plan to be shooting for extended periods of time. So our overall thoughts about the Canon T5i? The T5i is probably one of the most complete entry-level DSLRs on the market. Its indispensable features, like a touchscreen that tilts and flips, and a built-in mic jack, make it a great beginner camera for budding photographers and videographers. The image quality and robust build quality will also appeal to semi-professional shooters. All round, a great camera at an affordable price point. Hope you found this review useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching.